Hello folks and welcome back to Shortest Trip to Earth. Last time we moved into Sector 4, an unclaimed sector, which where the Insectoid Alliance has several factions or something. Uh, what are you supposed to be doing there? You must be in fire prevention duties, buddy, so do not be... There you go. Everyone's in position? Good. Now we move to jump to Kusu, which might be in problems. Depending where we arrive, give the Git Chanky Trader. Uh, do I need fuel? No, but I could probably do it with selling... I don't even need to sell exotics, do I? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Now, the combat's over there. We will swap to our peace mode. Search that, search that, get close to that. Swap to attack mode, and then uh, see what else is available. Planet with an atmosphere. Strong electromagnetic interference prevents us from scanning the planet from orbit. We cannot see what's on the surface. A skin-like membrane is covering the entire planet. As astonishingly, it seems to be a single giant organism that controls all of the local water ecology. Bubbles of sugary organics are seeping out to the surface. Uh, we could harvest this stuff. We could also leave this ecosystem totally untouched. Uh, research only. I already, already killed one thing off immediately, and it was very, it was not even interesting. We'll just research it. At some point, we'll get to a place where we can just buy a ton of drones. That's kind of what I'm saving money for right now. I want to go to a place that actually has drones. Radioactives found. Some fuel. Okay. Right, move over here. Uh, something, something. Insect Chaos Avatars, Insected Alliance. If I remember correctly, this fight can't- this can end up in a fight or it can end up in not being a fight at all. They're all like, we are the Avatars of Chaos. And then you go, well, we don't want to fight. And they go, that's- that's chaotic. We, ap we appreciate that and won't fight you. Which is amusing. Right. A single medium-sized ship approaching us. The Chaos welcomes you to its territory! Nobody escaped from the forces of randomness. You must accept and open the gift from Chaos before we can let you go in peace. So we can receive the gift from Chaos, and I do not know what that can be, or we can just fight them off. It's a single medium ship, you can probably kill them off fairly quickly. But do I want to have the uh, thing from Chaos? That's the thing, do I want it? You know what? Randomness. What's the gift? The gift from Chaos was boxed with unfilled unknown fruits. Uh, they are way better. They're advanced biotech and a little bit of exotics. Cool. Thanks, guys. So, <laughs> thank you. Uh, come on, plus seventeen, please. Thank you. Now, desert planet time. Kusu Seven. The planet is mostly covered with energy. Uh, shows presence of life. Something is emitting warp waves. The planet features ruins of a primitive civilization long gone. Their pictographic writings refer to an ecological catastrophe. Investigation of the largest ruin uncovers a large exotic crystal. And the yielders to chaos. Carry on. Yes, we are the yielders to chaos. Now, there's some trade signals and some fleets down here. I do want to head this down this way. And we are going to just assume that out of three fleets, at least one will be hostile. So I'm not even going to bother checking. Assume that at least one of them will be hostile. Get them. Get to their guns. And head down to the, there. Organics Trader, Spinous Technology Organics Exchange. Honorable fellow consciousness, are you interested in holding or trading carbon organics? Our hive has the finest honey gardens, and the rainbow honey we produce is said to have mind enhancing properties. I don't need organics though. Thank you, but no thank you. I'll sell you one credit for one organics though. You give us a little bit of synthetics for it, that's fine. Uh, switch to peace mode. Move this close. We'll fight this. We'll fight this group. That's got, they've got a huge radar range. Uh, something, something religion in Sector Alliance. Well, war mode it is. Once we're in war mode, we'll go straight for the technology of the station. Just in case the station gives us a good engine, we have. Cryodream Recorders Biotech. 
we have a Insector Alliance Mega Laser. For 4 power, does 8 damage to hull and shields every 16 seconds, relatively good accuracy. How does that compare to like the Relic, for example? Way slower for more damage. Same accuracy, more AoE. Um, they both can deflect, so it is a something you have to worry about. Um, is way less resi resistant. Oh my god, the small relic railgun will never die. Um, the heat ray uh, fires as often, is more accurate than the reese ray, has more health than the heat ray. Does not set any fires, though. Does more damage, but doesn't set any fires. I like setting fires. Compare that to floral gun, which fires faster. Is as accurate for slightly more. You know what? I like my guns. Um, the biotech generator is pretty good, though. I do like that generator. Get more crew in. There's no. I want really. I want some really good. Let's repair things. I want a better bridge and a better engine. There you go. Better bridge, better engine, please. You can sell some organics as well because oh my god, we got so much organics. You got so much organics, we have no idea what to do with them at the moment. Um, synthetics, go, yeah, we can keep the rest going. Uh, storage of organics and fuel. No, as as fun as that would be, that's not necessarily ideal. I mean, we can get this. That's what. That, that's eight, thirteen. We can get that in to get up to sixty power, which is a lot of power. We don't even need that much power. I think. In full combat mode, we're only taking 43. Uh, this is a... Oh, yeah, this is good, isn't it? Biotech... No, oh, sorry. I thought it looked like it was a... There's, like a, there's a biotech med lab, which requires no power and is very super efficient. This is not very efficient. It requires 14. There's one that only requires six, uh, um, 6 per, which is fantastic, but this is not the one. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We'll just exit out of this completely, I think. Do I want the, do I want the crew? I want. I do want to keep getting crew, because I think in my peace mode, I am allowed to have one more person sleeping. And I want someone who's good at fighting off borders, and it's probably going to have to be you, the DIY railgun. Uh, you're also pretty good at shielding. You can't, you've got a potential for weapons in the future, and bridge work as well. So we're going we're gonna to buy Vricker. We're going to hire Vricker. Vricker, your name is no longer Vricker. Your name is Lightning. We're currently in war mode, Lightning. So Lightning, in war mode, you are repairing. In war mode. In peace mode, we will deal with that afterwards. Right, exit. Approaching ship. Two small ships rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. They broadcast the religious pilgrims identity signal and affiliation with the Insectoid Alliance. Religious extortionist. Hey. Alien vessel, you have trespassed the most holy emptiness of our religious space. We must purify your soul with healing crystals. If you cannot purify you, you are corrupted and we will have to destroy you. Praise the religion! Prepare for battle. Another small ship joins the enemy as they attack. Okay, well. Uh, what have you got there? A railgun? Uh, decoy capital nuke. Micromites nuke. So we must go start firing on these guys right down here. Me. Let's try to leave now. Micromite snook never deflects. Good, that's dead. Next one over. That's capital. I'm not worried about that one too much. Um, you've got double old laser sniper railgun. Uh, fuel optimizer engine, and you know that that's all rubbish. Oh, what's that? That's a insectoid point defense. That might be better than my Terran one, who knows. Um, we're just spreading shots around the hole now. Ow. How dare they. Lab took a hit there. Shots out. No, I have no weapons left at the moment. We just missed with that one. No, we didn't. We did deflect it. That hits nicely, though.
Right, now that we've got them here, we can slow down and we can re-aim. I don't think we need to re-aim much, to be honest. Um... I think we... Incoming... Incoming that, don't particularly need it. It'll just donk off the hull. It's a, it's a decoy, anyway. Buggy. Any ship is warming up, is warming up its warp drive. Why does it say buggy? Don't know. How odd. Uh, salvage complete. Five modules worth. Plenty of organics. Oh my god. Uh, what do we got here? We got ourselves a insectoid point defense. Is that better than our current point defense? It fires slower. It is a smidgen better at asteroid deflection, but ours is otherwise completely better than that, so we'll just store that completely. That is an ESM-1, which we already got, so we can go out and go away. A couple of biotech reactors, which is... slightly unstable, but we're going to do... We'll, we'll scrap that. We'll replace that. Scrap that. And we'll put this into storage. No, 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 store that. And this is a warp ray effector. Fires every 11 seconds, fires a beam that never deflects, does, 11 dam does 7 damage to modules. It is super accurate. It is quite accurate. With 21, aiming the aiming angle is 9 degrees. Considering something that has... You're firing at 22. You're firing at 23. At 23, your aiming angle is 7 degrees. So basically... You're getting a plus three. That can go up to 24. 24, I assume, therefore, would be a six degree aiming angle. All weapons are fairly accurate. 22, 22, 20, 24. That way, that'll be the uh, six degree aiming angle. Do I want that then? Is that better than this one? 5, 5, 11, 10, 20, 21. Never deflects, never deflects. You know what? I'm okay with this. Let's just scrap this gun. Almost full. Full. Actually, a little bit over full there. Crafting. I can probably craft some nukes. I'll craft some more DIY. Like, it's, it's rubbish, isn't it? This is... I don't like it. I do not like any of my like built-in nukes. Every ship has like a different selection of nukes you can build, and this one does not make any good ones. I'll make one of these anyway, just to see what it's like, but... Ow. That was achievement unlocked for own six plus capital missiles. Six? One, two, three, four. I don't, I don't own six, I own four. And that is what? That's rubbish. It does a bit of hull damage, but it's very, very accurate. I guess it's five, I guess. It's something. But I don't particularly, that's not very, not fond of that at all. At all. We still technically have um, this exotic destabilizer cannon, which we could put in at some point. Not sure what we would replace with this thing, but it's a very good gun. Ignores shields, never deflects, high, uh, pretty good AoE, pretty good EMP, pretty good hull damage. It fires one exotic per time, but now we've got enough to to consider shooting with, basically. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, revisit you at the moment. Just to... You're, no, you're full in organics, aren't you? Yeah, let's just repair what we got before I move on. And swap over everyone over to peace mode. You got people over at peace mode. Um, lightning. Go to bed. In peace mode. Uh, save. Right. Organics exchange. Uh, sell organics. Uh, no, we're good, thanks. I move down to this place. What do we have here? Analyzing data, a trade ship of some kind. Approaching ships, smaller ones in the distance. A smuggler. Nah, I'm good, thanks. I don't particularly need explosives. Very good. Like I said, I don't use explosives. At all. 
Jazz Giants plasma, plasma reactions, it could become a small star one day, and of course there's nothing for us to find here except death. Well, that's nice. No fleets in Juhu, so we'll go to Juhu. Anomaly around this planet of Juhu 7. 8, sorry. As we arrive in the vicinity of the planet, the small circle of fire appears next to it. The circle starts to quickly heat the planet with the strength of a small star until the entire planet becomes a boiling rock. The circle then sucks the semi-liquid planet into itself and leaves through a warp hole. We have witnessed a mega anomaly having a meal. <laughs> and the planet is gone. Is there anything around here? Ooh, hello, anodizing data. Some warp energy over there and some metal objects. SOS signals? It is a chaotically vibrating pattern of light, which emits a terrible cacophony of telepathic screams for help. It is painful to listen. After a bit of decrypting, RAI suggests the anomaly is screaming for energetic sustenance. Send them... 100 fuel. After consuming the resources, the anomaly shuts up. It slowly changes into a strand of rainbow colors, and then starts pound producing wonderful telepathic music. That sounds like a bit like laughter from another dimension. The colorful lights then race through our ship, filling our crew with inexpressible life energy. We were healed, but uh, I think we're at full health anyway, so... Ooh, shortest trip to Earth. Achievement unlocked. Randomness doubler. Collect 50 to 70 fate during a run. How did I not that get, how did I not get that last time? That's weird. My last one I got 90, so surely I would have unlocked that. Uh, metal objects. We have discovered a debris cloud of unknown origin. We can scavenge some of the metal. Yes, sure. Ship parts collected. Good. Right, we move on. Two fleets in Annis. What's in Annis? I'm assuming there's one hostile fleet in Annis. Looks like, yeah, there's one hostile fleet there. Switch to war footing. Switch to a war footing. And jump to Anis. I want more drones. We've arrived there. Hunters. A large insector ship is rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. Alien vessel, you have been selected to participate in the hunting tradition. Since we are obviously more intelligent than you, we are the hunters, and you, the hunted. Only a pleading to grace of luck can save you now. Now, basically, I think this is a, this is a chance that you basically get to skip the fight entirely, and there's no excuse for injustice. We're fighting and they uh it's gonna start unloading everything we've got. Cool, then we can see what you have. Again, I don't like your engines, guys. Can you get better engines, please? You only have like what? You have Venom Gatling cannons, which use f which do high crew damage. Four shots it pop. Okay. Oh, I did, I did fire a nuke out. I wasn't sure about that. I did fire a nuke out. Hey, that worked out well for me, I guess. That worked out okay for me in the long run. Okay, you're trying to leave already. That's funny. Sorry. Oh, we win. <laughs> We do a lot of damage. We do a lot of damage with these shots. One module, a biotech reactor, which we don't require. And because it's a biotech reactor, it gives us organics. Uh, and we will go into peace mode, clear out some planets, and move on. One fleet there. Trade signal strings. I need to go visit these trade signals because I want I want them to be, I want to find drones, basically. I need to find drones. You don't necessarily know why, uh, mining of ore, I don't, haven't got the fuel to spare. Desert planet? Ordinary planet. Low chance of low value minerals, possibly. Endless deserts. An atmosphere of survey reveals the entire planet as an endless desert. There are some minerals under the pole caps, but it is likely to contain only low-grade metal ore. The crew suggests this would be a good place to have a wild recreational party. Have a party! The party successful. The crew enjoyed themselves into the early hours of the following morning with combinations of various recreational substances. Everyone reports max activation levels the next day. Sweet. Party time. <laughs> this game is a, is a great, great, like, um, thing for food. Not for food, for partying and for fun times. Attack trader. Tool jewel cannons for 400 credits. 
an exotic Reagan for 400 credits, an acid nuke for 375. Is it exactly the same one? Yes, it's exactly the same one. It's exactly the same one we can build. Oh, isn't that glorious? Uh, can I just swap these around, please? Okay, now we have the, we have them in the right order. I want don't want to accidentally fire a D nuke again. Um, no. Large water concentration, shipwreck over there, large asteroids over here, under attack, hidden installation. We pulled back a little and now face a choice. We could blast the station to smithereens with ship weapons or send a squad of fresh operatives to take over the station and secure any useful technology and resources. We could also simply leave. Uh, assault op. Attack repelled. After taking serious damage, we could attempt another attack. Oh, I'll take the ship in this time. We destroyed them, but they were punished for their insolence. Who's hurt then? Nox took one damage, Rakavan took two, Shanzival took one, Rook took one. Well. Wrecked ship. No survivors. Fine. Extra synthetics. Can I do anything with those synthetics? I wonder. Probably not, is the ultimate question, is the answer to that question. Probably not. I know people are wounded, I'm actually going to do a, a quick repair break. Quick re Repair stop here. Not repair. Um, healing location. Uh, let's put you down there temporarily. Heal up. Nox can go heal up. Uh, Rakavan can go heal up. Rook can go heal up. And there you go. Someone leaves the bridge. Everything goes offline. Back to peace settings. Everyone's fine now, right? No one's hurt. No one's hurt there. The pets are fine. The droids are fine. Okay. In that case, back to peace mode. Back to multi-container FEO. Convert that to fuel, because frankly, there's nothing else I can do with it. I could make it into a thing, but there's no reason uh, a pack, but come on. Uh, hostiles, okay. War footing. Go for the war footing. Jump to Via. Style police. Two approaching ships approach two ships approaching, one small and one medium sized. They broadcast style police credentials. Your ship is decorated with some kind of totally wrong tile. Obviously, our employers don't accept such ornaments around here. Here are the instructions for changing your external ship details according to the insectoid core values. Failure to comply immediately results in conviction and death penalty. Our style will remain free because I've never seen this actually have a difference. And this actually is pretty decent because they've actually got good weapons. And they've, actually, they've got one of the best engines in the game. I want that engine. So we're going to go straight for one of these guys. You got one cannon there, a couple of large lasers over there. Which will suck for us, I mean, no doubt about it. It will definitely suck for us, but we are just doing our best here. Put that started down. Let's start swinging down here. They have huge shields, because look at these sh There's, They've got three shield batteries, and these shield batteries add 15 shields a pop. So they've got a lot of shields. They don't look like they've got a generator though, so their shields will never come back up again once we take them down. Which you know is useful for us. We just lost the power system there. Can we repair that please as quickly as possible. Put those fires out, repair the holes, repair the repair the engineers. Good. Okay, so let's, let's start taking care of, like, power areas. They've got three generators at the moment, which is a bit of an annoyance. They've got four generators. Their power needs will never go away. In which case, it's never, not really something we have to be worried about too much. We just basically do damage as, as much as we can. We hit, hit, hit that guy head on.
One of the hostile ships is trying to jump away, is it? Where's this jump? Where's the jump drive? Where's this jump drive? Oh, it's, it's damaged. It's not going to be able to jump away at all. We've got leaks. A lot of damage happening there. Salvage complete. Two modules. One of them be an engine, please. No engines. Although we have an MFO. Which is exactly what this is, isn't it? MFO. Same thing as that. Repair everything. Got to be back in it. Accelerated to QBR. And that's an uranite energy reactor, which is just good. <laughs> it's just good. There's no real complaint about that. That is an MFO, right? So if I... Can I put that down instead of this? I think I can. Because I don't need the exotic storage, do I? That require that stores 30 exotics or 24. That restores another 25. It's a good question. I'm gonna dump one of these reactors. We don't need that. They're also over over organic at the moment. That helps us out a little bit there. That gives us way more fuel capacity as well. Actually, uh, gives the same fuel, same organics. We're just swapping 25 exotics for 500 metal. Which means the metal isn't required. Synthetics is the problem. Synthetics is always the problem. We've got so much organics fuel storage. Like I don't need this. I can get rid of this entirely. I can put this. I can put this uh, down. I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's the big problem here. Is I'm not entirely sure what to do. Um. You know we're okay. We're okay, right? We are fine. We are totally fine. I'll just fly around. Do this and we'll figure out what to do eventually. Load up. We are two trade signals at the end. Hopefully one of them will have drones. I'm assuming we can no longer repair what we've got. And I need bridge and engine. Death planet. This is what is known as a death planet. Something on, or inside the planet emits a rare frequency of local null warp waves that disable or destruct any digital technology that comes too close. Countless dead research missions have reduced outside curiosity to minimum. We'll skip this one. Ten fate points. Nice. Okay, we're just going to go straight up to Vux. Civilian models in repair, munitions for sale. Abandoned building. No signs of life or active, active technology. Send crew. Modular tech obtained. A crowd. Oh wow, four! I've never seen one of these before. That's amazing. And this is a ancient rocket platform. Don't care about that. But that's a crowd bridge. Uh, I need to create space. Uh, I'm gonna just dump off. Let's dump that one off. That can store four people? Really? That's like way better than what we've got at the moment. Right, okay, that's crowd bridge. I didn't even know that was a thing. Right, okay, wait, 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 wait. that's fine. Let's save everything for now. In combat mode, we can get two more people on this bridge. There's two more people that can go on this bridge. Lightning... Hang on, who's got best bridge skills? Dr. DR, bridge. Taranawanger, you're currently on the guns. And you're going to stay on the guns. Lightning is going to go for the bridge. Are you, are you kidding me? I didn't even know there was a, a quadruple bridge was possible. It means that when this lot here gets... They, they, you're allowed to get another 10 there... Two, six. Another 18. 70, 66 plus 18 is what? 66 plus 8 will be 4. 74. 84. Once these all max out uh, bridges, that'll be 84 dodge. 84 evasion. Plus, I definitely know there's, a be there's, there's better engines than this. We've seen them. That civilian engine is something I want very badly. We'll save that back to peace mode. But I did not even know this existed. It's also got 12 health. It's 15. It's a little bit more fragile, but hey, it's pretty decent. That's pretty good. Who got wounded? Morthen's... When did you get wounded, Morthen? 
Morthen? You took a hit, Morthen. When did you take a hit, buddy? Uh, let's fix that right now. Let's fix, let's fix that right now. Good. Uh, back that up. Go back to bed. And we'll just go to the... Do the civilian modules repair stations. Fire. The only fire we got out... The only thing we got to put out of fire is you. E-bag. E-bag's like, I need to put the fire out. Shh, liquid nitrogen spray. Done. You have arrived. Wow, no useful engines either. There's a medbay type 300 in here, which I think is better than our current medbay. But let me just sell off some organics. Uh, aesthetics, we've got plenty. Metals, we've got enough. Crew-wise, we can get another... We can get Cricks, who's a very good at, uh, very, very good at hand-to-hand. Uh, -hand. Monocle damage for repair. Uh, some micro-reactors, a micro-reactor 1, micro-reactor 2, biotech reactor. Now, I think you're better than our one. Because that requires the same amount of power, can heal more people... Takes a little bit longer to heal, but it takes one less organic to heal, and is a little bit more. You know what? We'll, we'll scrap this lot and buy that. We have a, we have a slightly better med bay. Um, that is a, a biotech stealth decryptor. Our radar already gives us stealth decryption too, so it's not too bad. I never really had the space to spare for a, for a built-in stealth decryptor. Shame. What about you? We're gonna get Cricks. Cricks by himself will eat pretty much most of our stuff. If Cricks comes in, we'll probably get McCosk out of out of combat. Um, I got I got seventeen crew at the moment. That's a lot of crew. It's a lot of crew. Tell you no lies. That's a considerable amount of crew. Um. Cusk, wake up. We're getting cricks. Uh, achievement unlocked for 18 crew, I think. 18 plus crew. Extended family. You are... Sunders. In peace mode, you're going to bed. In peace mode, you're definitely asleep. In combat mode, you're probably going to go repairs or something. Or even security. Uh, save peace. And... 33 minutes left. Custom ship integrity munitions for sale. We haven't done that one yet, have we? Don't think we've done this one yet. Um, oh, missiles. Okay, that's good. I want that. Uh, sell organics. Uh, we can sell some synthetics. Uh, metal's fine. Okay, now. What are the choices we've got? I'm actually going to get rid of this. Uh, we can buy a... If you scrap that, it's organics, fuel, and metals we get out of that, so fine. Scrap one of these. We get a rat EMP missile. Does no damage at all, but it's a huge 30-second EMP. We can get another speeder nuke. We can get a tiger port industrial nuke. Small AoE. But it's, it's a hardy missile that does a lot of hull damage. Or you can get some barrel nukes in. Which, again, very quick to kill. Very quick to die to point defense. But a huge fire. Huge fire. Um, I'm going to... Sell some organic, some explosives. Sell some metals. I'm going to buy a... A tiger paw industrial nuke. Are we gonna buy tech force? No, no. So are we really gonna buy that? Yes, because that's a good that's actually pretty decent to take to taking out um that's actually pretty good at taking out point defense, because it can last for seven shots. If there's if some of them are disabled, you can just hit one point defense and keep it down for a while. Because seven damage on a point defense 
So four damage and a point defense might be enough to kill some of the basic ones. Any DIY point defense will die to that. And that can probably go as well. And we'll hire in a regular barrel nuke. We'll get a regular barrel nuke in. Because they're fairly decent as well. And I think we'll call the episode here. Uh, we are in peace mode. There's an exit warp gate there. I mean, I could really go check out these things, but do I really want to? I mean, do I really, really want to? Where is Atmos? Civilian station, civilian modules in repair, and the other one is what? Ye metals. Ye is the species. I kind of do. All right, we'll do this now then. We'll do this quick. We'll do this now. We'll, we'll load up on fuel and basically get this done and get to the next sector immediately. Or at least get prepared to go to the next sector immediately. Heavy jets engine. Very fuel heavy, but very good evasion and speed. Um, another type A. Don't need that. Fuel combinator. No, don't need that. Stealth decryptor. Don't need that. We've got one of these. Markle damage. Don't need that. Uh, cell organics. Uh, fuel's expensive at the moment, right? I need to buy some fuel. Good. Don't want any of these, though. Don't want that engine. Do I want this engine? It is way more fuel-heavy than my current one. Um, but it's going to give you some extra 6% dodge, an extra... Uh, what is our current speed? Current speed is 19, extra 3 speed... An extra three to our total ship health. It's one of those things that I wouldn't mind having it, but it's just too fuel inefficient for me. And I know better ones exist out there. So we're going to say no to that. And I kind of hope you want to go to the metals and hopefully... I need drones. I'm so desperate for drones, it's unreal. Uh, that's, the, that's the local warp gate. Okay. Ye metals. No, all you do is sell metals for me. Are you actually... Selling biometals at quite a price. And your exotics aren't too bad either. Let's sell some exotics here. A lot of money was made there. Now, where do these go again? Can't remember. Can't remember where that goes. I remember it was back somewhere over here, I think, so I don't particularly want to do that. Just go. Let's get close to the exit and I'll call. One out of two planets of innocent. What? Have I not visited a planet here? What have I been doing with my life? Warp life. A large warp worm is speeding towards us. These creatures are known to swallow smaller craft whole and take bites out of bigger ships. We could either retreat or try to kill it in order to analyze its scavenger's remains. It has no warp shield. Do we fight it or do we just try to leave? It has no warp shield. I wonder what that sentence means. Attack the worm? Attack the worm? Attack the an overburn to try to escape. Attack the worm. Uses personal warp holes to get into biting range. It ripped off a part of the ship and sizzled back into space before we could deal fatal damage. We salvaged a piece of its tail. Uh, so where have we not gone to? We have not gone to there. Yes, we have not gone to this place yet. Uh, custom made integrity module. Don't particularly need that. Repair up and then we'll get it and we'll leave. We'll repair up. The massive bite on the side there. And I'll go to the near the exit. And we will carry on next time, folks. See you then. Bye.